Hello. Good day, everybody. Hope you're well. So in this lecture, we will learn about next is language translation or language switcher. You can say that language um, next internationalization. But first of all, I had I had installed a preaching access project. Look at that, and I run it here. It's the preaching access project. So let's make some changes. Let's clear the part. And then clear the default stands here from the necessary import. Make it on page. Okay. Uh, for our development purpose or testing purpose, let's create some other page about and let's say contact page. So let's say so copy this. And I need a about page. Look at that page. And let's clear some global size. Yeah. So, contact again. Yeah, that's people coming. So, for our development purpose, let's say the navigation bar. And in this navigation bar, we will also add language switcher, drop down language switcher, selector, select box. So let's create a folder name components. Folder, let's say top bar. Let's say, let's Limit. Okay, channel. Okay. Oh. Contact. Contact. Get in the other page. Gosh. Oh, yeah, it's coming here. And come to all navigation types and several so you can understand it properly. Okay, one page above page. All right, um, we need okay, all right. In front of the so let's add a language to each other here. So we have an enter here. English and also. One of them or branch. So in this project, we will translate the application in English and translate. So what's the thing? English and France translation options there. Yeah, it's fine. You don't have a range.
let's add some margin to looking really in mm -hmm. Yeah, it's similar to the outside. It's not looking perfect. Yeah, that's maybe it to our page. So, directing all of the page showing the default graph content. So, we implement the framework plot by the way. We, when we select frames, it will show the text in French language. Whenever we are navigating, or we select it as English, it will show this language. So we select it in English language. So whenever we are navigating to the white side, so the same thing in this language plot right So first of all, we will take reference from this website. It's a community website. So we are implementing the page router section because <coughs> we are using the access voting app router. So first of all, so let's follow the all, all their documentation. We will implement the app router and we enable the reference form without IAT and routing. So first of all, install next INGL package. Select install it next. We have to follow this project structure. There will be all the messages. <clears throat> I recommend this. You can make, rename this whatever you want, but follow their step. Changes. And there will be each folder for each language. So we want to translate this in English and in French. Yes, yeah. so English language text will be go to English and French language text will be go to French. So let's implement some language or one page. This is one page. So let's write in English on it. Let's get the same. Because it's in by it's in English text in English format. Or in English, the key and value will be same. Page. Also, this will be same. Yep. Now, one point is then. Type. Same as for friends. Number with English to French. Maybe this is Google Translator. Not Google. Google later. English to French. So, page will be what if translated to me, Google Translator, or then contact me to make my friend. The demo page will be that. Okay. Message section is done. Next. In this method section is done. We create two vessels, one for English text, English, and one for French. Next up is the next configuration. Right. This configuration just copy it and paste it. Yeah. Next up, let's create another IETN.ts. This is the IETN configuration. So we will give this in the other thing and copy the content of IETN here. This done. And also we need to update the layout bit. <coughs> Uh, and we also update the app bar here because we are imported. This will be long bar. Yeah. 
and give some margin here. It's number of the server again. Everything working got down uh, to about English. Yeah, it's working now. So let's follow another step. So each page we need to add the translate, use translate option, and text will be like this. So go to page first and copy this and import translation book on next 19 and convert this it's like that keep okay i think this will be converted okay everything is fine so in translation use uh, books import from text until and during this one page we will import globally all of the right all the JSON file because there is no action on JSON. So we import all the JSON. So here, these translation hooks will by default import this import this JSON and we can we can show we can show each text by using the T, this T and the JSON page name. Let's look at that content that each one page is coming here. Also implement this in the about page. Let's take the start function. This is about page activate in page about page. Let's name it about page on right. Then go to the contact page. This translation and write the translation like that. It's contact with Australia face. So, so ensuring in the IPTN configuration, you will look at the method changes this panel. I think all of the content will show. We will be shown using this one on the French. So we need to go up, we need to make it dynamic from here. We need to change it, change it from here. Whenever we click on this selected link, then this will be changed. So we have to we have to follow some strategies. So, the documentation they say is that we may use cookie and order. So in this lecture, we will use cookies. So we will store this option on the cookie from server side. Whenever we click on the option, we will save the language value here and input from the cookie. So let's use cookie dot get and let's say we will store the language option as language key on the cookie. So if this value exceeds, then return this. Otherwise, return English. So I think it's already working perfectly. So now, our task will, task will be changes this, changes cookie whenever we click on the selected option. So let's go to the not bar. Component of it. And let's say we want we we get on change event because we have to catch the value whenever this is changes. So let's console it whatever we got from this event and get one. We need to change, make it client component because we are 
use event here. We want an event here. Right. I think all oh, the perfect. Let's check that. Let me sprint it here whenever we change it. Here. Let's make it here. Yeah, this video is coming here. So we need to store this. We need to update on the or server. We need to update the cookie whenever we get in this panel. So I have so for except the cookie will go in this section, uh I will use server action. So let's create a folder name action. Let's take an action server action on the set language action dot ds. So server action will be server on server one server action in done in server. So make it use server and create a server action function. It's for a point. Separation always as in function. Function. Export the and This will be stream. This dot set and So uh, let's be checking on the I team order. We made the cookie team as language. So let's make it like that language and they will be us fail from here. So we create a server action, so we need to call this server action. So where we will call this server action from the on change event. So let's call this function that language hello. So this will be after that. Okay. Let's go to this page and reload it. And go to the cookie section. There is a Link is cookie so that look at the business one again. Look all the all the code is converted into all the text is converted into so we have to take it in English, all the text is converted into English language, and then look at here cookie changes. That's it, that's it from one side. Thank you. Thank you so very much.